Fresno Pacific and number nine Grand Canyon squaring off. One team would have their streak busted tonight. GCU winners of 17 straight and FPU riding a six game win streak with ace JD Sales on the mound. But it was the Antelopes who got on the board first. Thanks to a leadoff home run by Brian Kraft, his second of the season puts GCU up one nothing early. But Sales rebounded, throwing four innings of scoreless ball. He finished the night giving up eight hits in eight innings. Four runs, two of them earned, while striking out six slopes. Bottom of the fifth after a Stephen Moon single and Matt Fox up at the plate, but he grounds into the 6-4-3 double play to end the inning. Bottom half of the sixth and runners on the corners with just one out, but FPU squanders another chance. Stephen Lozier pops out to the pitcher on the bunt, and Baron Bowers doubled up at first base. Sumbert stranded five runners in the game, and the Antelopes won their 18th straight 5-0. Uh, JD was JD. You know, he, he always pitches with guts. He always... You know, leaves his heart out on the field, and, and he did a good job. He kept us in the game, and we just uh, we didn't do much to help him today. You know, I just uh, came out trying to make some pitches. I didn't real, really feel great tonight, so I knew I was going to have to pitch. Uh, made some good pitches. They're a good team. You make a couple of mistakes, they capitalize. They just outplayed us. So that's how it ended up. You know, we, we didn't have a two-strike approach today. We, we didn't stay in our plan offensively. Um, we got emotional. We got caught up in... in a lot of things, you know, that that are irrelevant to the game, and and uh, I, I don't know. We made silly mistakes, missed some signs, and um, you just can't do that if you expect uh, to be at the top of the conference and beat the team at the top of the conference.